Hi everyone, so I hope you're having a really lovely, relaxed, chilled out Easter Sunday and possibly snacking on a lot of chocolate while watching this video. I'm personally going to be demolishing this poor little bunny during the filming of this, so looking forward to it. So I'm going to be taking it back to the drugstore and the high street products today and talking you through some of my favourite budget dupes. And I have some really good ones here, ones that I'm quite excited about showing you. And I, I love a good drugstore budget product. I think there are so many amazing brands out there in the aisles of Boots and Superdrug and there's just some really amazing things to be found. So the first thing I want to talk about is a highlighter. And I have the NARS Copa Cabana Illuminator Highlighter here, one of my favourites. A really pretty, quite pinky, champagne-y, golden -y tone. It's a really nice one for highlighting the skin either under foundation or just tapped on top of your base to give a nice glow on the cheekbones. So the product that I found is really really similar to that is the Body Shop's Radiant Highlighter and if I put the two of them together you can see that the colours are pretty much identical, they're really really similar. The Body Shop one is just as glowy, just as radiant, really nice and light boosting. The one thing that is slightly different I would say is that the NARS one tends to be a little bit more glittery so under some lights or in daylight you can notice some really kind of quite big chunks of glitter in it. Whereas the Body Shop one doesn't have that at all, so really the Body Shop one kind of wins on that front in that it looks a lot nicer in natural daylight. It's a very hydrating one as well, really pleasant to use on your skin, so it's a nice one for using underneath foundation. And I think these two are a very, very similar dupe. So I was looking through my foundations, trying to compare them and see which ones could possibly be a dupe for each other, and it's quite hard, I think, to match up foundations. I think they're all very different. There aren't many formulas that are exactly the same, but the two that I think are closest in my collection are Vitalumia Aqua from Chanel and Bourjois Healthy Mix, and I love this foundation. I really do rave about it quite a lot. I think it compares to some of the high-end foundations I have. It's probably in my top three all-time favourites. So the Vitalumia Aqua from Chanel has a very very similar feel to the Bourjois one, it's very hydrating, feels nice and light on the skin and yet still gives a nice amount of coverage as well. Now I think it's either Chanel that own Bourjois or Bourjois that own Chanel, something like that, they're both paired together so I think you when you find companies like that they tend to have products that are quite similar within their different brands. So these two look very very similar when they're on the skin, they have a nice soft focus finish, they're kind of very glowy, very dewy and yet they're not particularly sticky or greasy so they have a kind of satin look to them. Again if I had to pick one I think it's going to have to be the bourgeois. It really is a brilliant foundation and I think I would pick it over its expensive dupe any day. The next dupe is a more recent discovery and I was really amazed when I saw these coming out because I thought they were just so so similar to their high-end counterpart and they're the Max Factor Cream Puff Blushes. I've talked about these quite a bit recently and that they compare very similarly to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. Now they're both a very kind of swirled marble texture, they have kind of two colours in one. So the thing that makes them very similar is the way that they look on the skin, they're just very glowy and very fresh looking and they both manage to do that without using any glitter or any sparkles. So especially as the hourglass blushes are around the 35 36 pound mark which is very very steep especially for a blusher. I think it's probably one of the most expensive makeup items I've ever bought so I think it's definitely worth checking out the budget alternative first. Now these next two don't look particularly similar but they do a very similar thing on the skin and they are the Bobbi Brown Corrector and the Garnier BB Eye Cream. Now obviously these are very different formulas. The Bobbi Brown Corrector is a very creamy, quite thick, very pigmented concealer and the BB Eye Cream is actually a little rollable. So I actually ran out of the Corrector quite a while ago and I was looking Looking for something new, something to replace it that was maybe a bit more of a budget friendly price because I do go through this stuff a lot. And I saw this and I decided to give it a go and it is very very similar in that it covers up the dark circles really well, it kind of just corrects them and I think that's because it has this very warm tone to it. So as a concealer I wouldn't recommend it because it is quite orangey and quite warm and it just looks a bit funny under the eyes, but if you use this underneath your concealer, it does work really well for just balancing out and correcting those kind of bluey dark circle tones. It's actually quite nice to use when you're putting on your makeup, especially in the morning when my eyes can be quite tired and a bit puffy, it really helps to cool them down because of the metal rollable on it. It's also a very nice light formula so it doesn't cake under concealer, it doesn't look like you're wearing too much product under your eyes because especially in that area, product can build up very quickly. It's just a really nice alternative to the corrector and definitely a much better budget price as 
well. And I think correctors are just really hard to come across. There aren't many of them on the market, so if you were thinking of giving one a go, maybe try this out first. There's actually another product from Garnier that I have here that is very similar to another one of my high-end favourites, and it's the Miracle Skin Cream. Now this has a very similar formula and actually a very similar name to the This Works Perfect Look Skin Miracle. And both of these, I've kind of described them as skin tints. They're not quite a tinted moisturiser, but they have a very warm, very brightening colour to them. So I like to put them on my skin when it's looking a bit pasty, a bit lacklustre and needs a bit of colour. So the This Works version comes out as a very quick tan looking, very bronzy, pigmented product, but actually when you sort of rub it in, it shears out and it just gives the skin that nice bit of warmth. Whereas the Garnier one basically comes out looking like a regular cream, but when you start to rub it into your skin, that's when the tint releases. And then they just end up looking very, very similar to each other. So you can see on my hand, it just kind of gives a nice warmth. And I think they're just amazing products to use underneath foundation, or even if you're just having a very natural skin day, just using these on their own. And the Garnier one really does compare to This Works. They're both very moisturising, very hydrating. The Garnier one is actually probably a little bit more on the moisturising side, so great if you have a drier skin type. I also think Garnier are really good at picking up on skincare and makeup trends and kind of imitating them in their own budget-friendly way, so with the Skin Miracle and then the eye cream, and also I think they were the first drugstore brand to bring out a dupe for Bioderma with the micellar water, so they're a good one to look out for for dupes. Now this next one isn't one of my absolute favourite products, I think you probably all know that. I actually mentioned this in my Disappointing Products video a few weeks back, and it's the Hourglass Arch Sculpting Brow Pencil. I know that a lot of people do absolutely love this though and swear by it and can't get enough of it, so I thought I would mention a dupe for all you Hourglass lovers out there, and it's from Sleek. Now these two both do look almost identical, they have that kind of chiselled slanted pencil that twists up and they both have a brow brush or a spoolie on them which I think is amazing when brow products do that, it just makes things so much easier. The only thing that I didn't really like about the Hourglass versions was the colours, I couldn't seem to get on with any of the shades, whereas the Sleek one actually suits me quite well, it's a slightly warmer tone, although it is still quite ashy and quite grey tone, it's just a little bit more browny and it's a lot darker as well, the Hourglass ones are really pale and really light on my brows for some reason. The formula is very similar, really nicely pigmented and yet you can still work it in quite well to get a nice shape for your brow and a really great budget option to try if you were thinking of getting the Hourglass one as well. So I've saved these next two dupes for the end because I've talked about them quite a lot already. I have posts for both of these on my blog so I will link those around here or down there somewhere. The first ones are dupes for the By Terry Ombre Black Stars and I absolutely love these. Can't get enough of them. I love the packaging. How gorgeous is that? The formulas, the colours, they are just all round amazing products. But there are a lot of dupes and a lot of budget alternatives on the high street. A lot of brands have started to bring out very similar eye crayons and eye pencils, things that are very long lasting and just don't really budge on the eye. And my favourite of all of those are the ones from number seven. These are the Stay Perfect Shade and Define Sticks. They don't have quite as pretty packaging unfortunately, but the formulas are very comparable, very similar. They basically just twist up eye crayons just like the Ombre Black Stars. And these things last for a really, really long time. I actually swatched these on my hands when I bought them and couldn't even get the swatches off. I had to go home and use an oily eye makeup remover to get them off, so they are really long lasting. Don't crease, don't smudge throughout the day. Really great products. The one thing that isn't quite the same are the colour ranges. By Terry just to outdo themselves when it comes to colours. They are all just absolutely stunning. But the number seven ones have have some really great shades. They have the colour Glistening Ray, which is actually very similar to Blonde Opal from By Terry. They're both a really nice, very champagne gold colour, which is perfect for using in the tear duct or as a base, which I tend to do all the time. This one I've actually been using quite a lot recently. This is Cool Mink, and it's kind of just a really nice taupe colour. I think it's quite rare to find a taupe eyeshadow or eyeliner in the high street, and it's a nice way of defining your eyes while still keeping things quite subtle. It's not as harsh as a black or a dark brown, so I really like this one. And I think they're really great to check out if you were thinking of trying the By Terry ones but kind of shuddering at the price because again they are quite pricey ones definitely go and try out the number 7 ones and I think Bourjois have also very recently brought out a range of eye crayons which look really really nice I think they have some really nice champagne-y pinky colours so those might be worth checking out too so last up I have probably my favourite budget dupe of everything in this video I really really love these products and they're an alternative to the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils it's well documented how much I love these pencils especially the colours Red Square and Corella which I have here now. I think they're just amazing, amazing shades and the formulas of these are really, really brilliant. But they're actually something very similar on the high street with a much more affordable price. So these are the Maybelline Colour Dramas in the shades Red Essential and Fab Orange and the colours are just so incredibly similar. They're almost identical to the NARS versions which I absolutely love because they are just beautiful colours. The formulas are also amazing and they're both these kind of lip crayon pencils that you sharpen. A lot of the high street brands went through 
through a phase of bringing these out ages ago. There were the Revlon, Colourburst, Balms, I think that's what started it all, and then Rimmel had some all the brands basically and then Maybelline brought these out so by that time I was kind of a bit bored of everything I didn't really want to try them but I'm so glad I did because they're just beautiful they go on so pigmented and creamy and yet they dry to this really lovely matte finish at the same time they're, they're incredibly comfortable to wear on the lips they never ever feel dry in fact they're probably nicer than the NARS ones they make my lips feel very hydrated and very soft and yet they still have that nice matte finish which is what I like with red lipsticks so if anything I'd probably say these are better than the NARS ones I definitely reach for them a lot more than these which is quite a strange thing because I thought these would always be my favourites but I think it's just the formulas of these that are so much better. So those are all my favourite budget dupes, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Please let me know what your favourite dupes are if you've ever found any really good ones, something very similar to high end product, leave it in the comments below and I will have a good read of them because I love finding new dupes. So thank you all for watching, don't forget to give this video a little like and subscribe if you're new and I will see you all soon, bye! I managed to make it without eating the bunny.